Is it hard to make friends in this industry? Like genuine, real friends? It. I don't know, because there becomes like this weird responsibility where it's like, hey, you're you're famous, and yeah. I'm famous, and it's like, we know each other, so we're fine. We don't have to like get to that place. Ugh. There's sometimes that, but it's not... It's not a bad thing. I feel yeah. like I know Amy Schumer. Like, I feel like I know her. Yeah. So when I see her, I just want to be able to be like, all right, so what's going on with your dating life? Like, I have no <laughs> right to be able to to do that, but it's just, there's this weird thing that happens when you're a quote-unquote celebrity where it's like an understanding. Of course. It, yes, I have found genuine people who will be at my wedding, yeah. you know, and in that world, but I also have a lot of people. My two roommates are not in the industry. One works for a nonprofit and one's That's a awesome. realtor, so it's like... I have a good balance of both. Important to surround yourself with people who aren't in the industry, too, obviously. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that, that just kind of, it wasn't intentional. That just happened. I, I like having that balance for myself personally. But everybody's different. And Amy Schumer and you, you I see a potential You guys have been friend. tweeting. I know. It's going to, hopefully the relationship will go to Dude. another place. <laughs> I, I want to be on her show. I'm like, I... Trying to slip her my resume. Her show is so <laughs> she, good. I saw a train wreck. It's unbelievable. It's so funny. I, I, I love the it. reviews are incredible, and she is hotter than ever. Right I know. Now. I'm so happy. Now, okay, so you want to you Amy Schumer, a great potential friend for Selena Gomez. <laughs> what is the first step to making this happen? Is it a tweet to her like you did? You, uh, she, well, she knows I like her. Okay, so <laughs> that's great. Creepy status out of the way. <laughs> I, I know who she is, and I'm, you know, just <laughs> sending her tweets. I, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll meet. You know, yeah. I, I, I want that. I'm sure she's very nice. Her, yeah. Dude, We're gonna meet. We're gonna hang out. There's a friendship there. I see. I it. think so. She's real. <laughs> she's honest. I'm like, be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, des- no thirstiness here. I'm sorry. The thirst is real with hey, Amy Schumer. It's okay. I get it, though. Amy Album? Sh- well, you go. I go? You can speak, yeah. All right, cool. I'll speak now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy Schumer has been doing like a lot of like great stuff for women, and I know that Taylor Swift has been doing a lot of great stuff for women. Do you think it's important to surround yourself as a strong woman with other strong women in the industry rather than compete with them? Completely. Yeah. I, I mean, I've always learned from Taylor. I still do. I always play her my stuff, and I... I appreciate and respect her advice but in general women I remember I had this surreal moment at the Met Ball where I'm seeing some of the most incredible respected women Mm -hmm. in the same room and something just gave me this like powerful feeling just being around them you know not even just being associated or anything just actually being there it's it's motivate motivating it's inspiring I always support other females like any time I'm ever in a situation I'm I'm fans, you know. Yeah. I, I'm mm-hmm. like I'm I'm a fan <laughs> of people. I'm clearly like gushing over Amy. I think it's important to have that respect for sure. I've gained some power in my life that I'm super genuinely stoked about, <laughs> <laughs> and I want mm-hmm. I want people to hear that. I think people see it and how I how I am, yeah. you know, and that's exciting.